All right, this is uh, part two. Um, if you missed part one, I would watch that video first. If you like this video, please give me a like, a thumbs up, please share this video. If there's anything in this book that I did not catch, please post it in the comments. Uh, there's about 30 things I'm gonna go over with you in this book. Uh, I, I don't think I will have caught all of it, but uh, remember every word in English has double meanings or triple meanings. I'm gonna try to go over all the meanings with you for each page and all the words. The title of this book is A Chocolate Mousse for Dinner. So a summary of this book is a little girl pictures the things her parents talk about such as chocolate mousse, a guerrilla war, and shoe trees. Mommy says she had a chocolate mousse for dinner last night. Okay, the word mousse is, well, for the animal, you have a moose, M-O-O-S-E, but we're also here talking about chocolate mousse, which is M-O-U-S-S-E. So chocolate mousse. And I believe mousse is a uh, French word, I believe. And after dinner, she toasted daddy. All right, to toast somebody, to toast somebody means they're gonna be in big trouble. You could also toast toast or toast bread. Um, after a marriage, there's the, the, the party and usually somebody will give a toast to the new couple. It says on TV, there's a guerrilla war. Now there are gorillas. I can think of the, the silver-backed gorilla um, is one type of gorilla. Uh, but there's also guerrilla warfare uh, where you're basically, it's just not traditional warfare. And sometimes we, we would call that guerrilla warfare. Daddy says, he has trees for all his shoes. So, um, I know my dad growing up, he had shoe trees for all of his shoes that he wore to work. Uh, I have some shoe trees as well. Um, but this is not, you know, the, the little girl's thinking of, you know, a shoe, a, a, a tree that has shoes all over it. A shoe tree. Daddy says lions prey on other animals. Now here, uh, the word prey is not spelled correctly, or maybe it is spelled correctly, but if you're preying on something, that's spelled P-R-E-Y. So you could say maybe an owl preys on a mouse. Um, sometimes people prey on other people. Um, in this, in this picture, uh, the, the lion and the tiger are preying, um, on other animals, P-R-A-Y. But really what they're talking about is P-R-E-Y, prey. Daddy says he hates the arms race. Now, the little girl is thinking, oh my goodness, there's arms that are racing. Uh, back in the 70s and 80s, we had the arms race between Russia and, and the US. You had, you know, who could build the most missiles that you had uh, those inter inter intercontinental ballistic missiles. Uh, you had the, the arms race. Okay. Mommy says we need a new wing on the house, but Daddy says he'll have to sleep on it. 
Now, when we're talking about a new wing on the house, it's going to be a new addition on the house. Um, and then we talk about, we're also talking about, um, you know, uh, sleeping on it. You know, sleeping on it means, you know, you need to think about this. Think about this long and hard. Sleep on it. So a new wing, again, is going to be like a new addition to, uh, it could be a house, it could be uh, maybe for in any building, many times they will add onto that building and they'll, they'll call that the new wing. And then sleep on it is just, let's think about this for a while. Daddy says there should be more carpools. All right, a carpool. It's typically uh, a ride share situation. Uh, you're, you're going with somebody, you're going with a friend to a, maybe a different city for work. And so you're going you're gonna to be in the same carpool. Mommy says her favorite painter is Dolly. Now this is a Raggedy Ann doll. This is a doll baby, you could say. Uh, there's also uh, the, the picture here um, suggests... Salvador Dali, you know, that's another suggestion here. Uh, there's also a, a totally different Dolly, uh, one that you move uh, maybe a refrigerator with or furniture with, that's also a Dolly, uh, but that's not referenced here in this picture. All right, mommy says there are airplane hangers. Mommy says there are airplane hangers. So you have, uh, you know, uh, storage for your airplanes. Uh, if, if you need to, you know, work on an airplane, um, it's going to go into an airplane hangar. Uh, and if they have to strip the, the insides or work on the engines or really anything, it's going to be done inside of a very large airplane hangar. Daddy says he has the best fishing tackle. Now, sometimes for American football, we talk about players tackling other players. For fishing, we have a tackle box that's gonna be full of hooks. Um, so again, Daddy says he has the best fishing tackle. It says on TV, a man held up a bank. It says on TV, a man held up a bank. So in this situation, uh, you could be talking about two or three different things. Holding up a bank is somebody robbing a bank. Uh, we talk about um, people holding up traffic. Maybe they're on their phones uh, at a green light and they're looking at their phones, they're holding up traffic. Um, I'm holding up the book right now that, th this book right now, I'm holding it up. Um, can you think of another use of holding up? He spent two years in the pen. So he held up the bank and then he spent two years in the pen, but they're talking about a penitentiary. Uh, we sometimes refer to a penitentiary or a jail as a pen. Um, so this is a pen, uh, but then they're talking about a, a penitentiary or a pen. Okay. And he has just escaped and is now on the lam. Now this is misspelled. Um, when you're on the run from the law, you are on the lamb. Lamb is spelled L-A-M. Lamb. So being on the lamb, you're in trouble, you should be in jail. You are on the lamb. At the ocean, Daddy says, watch out for the undertow. Now here we're talking, we, we've got a toe, a big toe. But they're talking about not a T-O-E, but a T-O-W, and that's going to be the, the current underneath the water. 
So the water is going to go in and out. There's always going to be an undertow when you're, if you're at the beach, if you're really, if you're in any type of water, there's always going to be currents under the water. There's going to be an undertow. Daddy says he plays the piano by ear. Daddy says he plays the piano by ear. So there are, I have friends who can listen to something and then they can play by ear. They can, they can replicate whatever they just have heard. Uh, I, I can't do that. Well, I can't even, I can't even read music, but playing, playing by ear. Mommy says after she and daddy argue, they always kiss and make up. Now, after, you know, you get into an argument with somebody, you kiss and make up. You know, you, 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 you beg for forgiveness or you ask for forgiveness and then, you, and then you make up. You're not putting on makeup. You're not putting on foundation and mascara and eyeliner. That's not, that's a different type of makeup. You know, men. Or, or women are going to put on makeup um, for various reasons um, but you know making up and makeup are two different things making up is apologizing makeup is you know putting makeup on your face mommy says she's going to tell me about Santa Claus Santa Claus. Now, in this picture, we've got Santa Claus, and you've got C L A W S Claus. You also have Santa Claus, which is again a different spelling there. And Daddy says he's going to tell me the story of the tortoise and the hare. Daddy says he's going to tell me the story of the tortoise and the hare. So the tortoise and the hare is going to be the, the, the tortoise and the hare, the hare is going to be a rabbit. Hare, H-A-R-E, I believe it's H-A-R-E, um, H-A-R-E, anyway, I'll, I'll correct this if I do an edit, but, but you, you, you have a different name for a rabbit, it's basically the tortoise and the rabbit. Yeah, that's right. And then the last page here, stories like these drive me up a wall. Stories like these drive me up a wall. That literally doesn't mean someone's going to drive up the wall. That means you're driving me crazy. You're driving me crazy. So I did skip a couple pages. Um, if I missed something in what I read, let me know. Or if you see a different interpretation of something, let me know. Um, what are your two favorite homonyms? What are your two favorite homonyms? So again, if you like this, please give me a like. Uh, click on the bell if you want to see uh, new updates. Typically, I, I post a new update every Friday. And please subscribe. Please update. Please comment. What is your favorite homonym? Thank you.